Hi guys! What's up? Sam here. Welcome back to my channel where I teach you all about social media for creators and entrepreneurs. Using Instagram on desktop probably never even crossed your mind until now, but I'm here to tell you it's a total game changer. So Instagram recently added some new features on their desktop version, which really opened up a whole new world of possibilities. So I started trying it out a little bit and realized it saves me so much time, you guys. It literally takes me half the time to do some tasks and I've been completely obsessed with it ever since. So now you can do basically everything from your desktop except post. But I found a hack that makes that possible too. Now, some things are still easier to do on mobile, so I'm not asking you to ditch the app. But just think about how much faster it would be to answer DMs or do hashtag research if you had a proper keyboard. So I would definitely say it's worth trying out, especially with the tips I'm about to share. So there are five main tasks I recommend you start doing on the desktop version. One of them is uploading. If you take photos on your DSLR, you can upload them directly without sending them on your phone first. Same thing with graphics you create either in Canva or in Photoshop. The next one is answering DMs. Answering DMs is way easier and quicker on desktop with the proper keyboard than on a tiny little mobile. So the third one is watching lives. Instagram recently just added this option and I love it because sometimes you just want to do other things while listening to your lives and you can turn up the volume way more on your laptop than on your mobile. The fourth one is hashtag research. So there is a way quicker way of doing hashtag research on desktop and I'm going to show you a quick trick on how you can save tons of time. And the fifth one, the most important one, is stalking is way easier on desktop. <laughs> no, but really, you won't have to be totally terrified that you're gonna accidentally like someone's photo because you have to actually click on the heart icon under the photo to like it. Oh, and another quick tip. You can still see the number of likes on the desktop version. So if you're thinking about collaborating with an influencer, you can check out their numbers here. All right, so let me show you what it looks like. All right, so let's go to Instagram.com and log in. This brings us to the newsfeed where you'll see the posts of the people you follow. On top, you'll see stories and any lives that might be happening at the moment. You'll know it's alive by the little live tag at the bottom. If you want to look at the stories, just click on the profile picture and then you can look at them like you would on your phone. So you can go forward or backwards by clicking the arrows and pausing the story by tapping on it and holding it. You can also comment or send quick reactions. Okay, so when you're done, just click X. In this column on the right, you'll see some suggested accounts you can follow. So when you're looking at your newsfeed, you can do everything like like posts, comment, share or save. Commenting is way quicker on desktop, so I would definitely recommend you engage here. Okay, so now we get to the search bar, which is my favorite part. You can search accounts and hashtags here, but what makes it so great is that you can actually copy the hashtag and the number of posts to either a spreadsheet or your notes when you're doing hashtag research. You can just select it and drag it to wherever you want. Guys, this saved me so much time that I can't recommend it enough. Okay, so next we have DMs. You can see them by clicking the little airplane icon. So this is one of the new features Instagram added a few months ago. You can see all of your DMs by clicking here. You can also reply or create a new one. Replying to DMs is one of my favorite things to do on desktop. 
if you get a lot of DMs asking you the same exact things, you can have your answers written on your notes and just copy paste them. So it literally takes two seconds to reply on your phone. Okay, so then click this explore icon where you'll see your explore feed. And up here, there are some profiles Instagram suggests for you. Okay, so next is the heart symbol, which will show you your likes and new followers. So now let's go to the last one, which brings you to your profile. You can see my bio, link to my website, story highlights and posts. So over here I can edit my bio by clicking edit profile. I can also change my password and email here. And watch them the same way as you would on your phone. Under the highlights you can see posts. You can also click on the IGTV icon where you'll see IGTV videos and you can even upload them here. So in the next category you can see your saved posts and collections. And the last one are your tagged posts. Alright, so now let me show you how you can post. So when you go to your profile, you won't see the plus icon like there's usually on your phone. So technically, Instagram doesn't give you the option to post from desktop. You can post through Creator Studio on Facebook, but I have a hack, so I'm going to show you how you can post directly from here. So when you're on your profile, right click inspect. Then go to toggle device toolbar and click one or two times until it switches to mobile view. So this is how your profile looks on your phone. But there's still no plus icon that would make it possible for you to post. So what you do is you tap refresh and the button will appear. So now you can post the same way as you would on your phone. Upload a photo, Choose a filter or edit, add a caption, location and even tag friends. And post. So as I mentioned earlier, there is also another way to post and that is through Creator Studio on Facebook if you have it set up. If you don't have it yet, then you can set it up on this link. I'll also put the link in the description. So this is where you can also schedule posts for all your Facebook and Instagram accounts. Make sure that your Facebook and Instagram accounts are connected, then toggle to Instagram, tap create a post, choose between feed and IGTV. I'm gonna choose feed. Then just upload a photo, add text, and either schedule or post right away. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope I gave you some ideas on how you can use Instagram on desktop. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Ryan Little. Uh. <laughs>